Welcome to this Windows channel and today in this return to the basics of Windows we will learn the copy and paste feature of Windows 10. Now this we could almost call a universal video because it works in all versions of Windows. If you stumbled here and you're using Windows XP it works in Windows XP also. Copy and paste. Now this is a feature that's very useful but when I go to my clients as a tech guy, I understand that people tend to really don't understand exactly how to use it. Yet, it's pretty simple, but maybe it's the way we visualize computers. Uh, from what I understand, I seem to visualize computers in my head differently than a lot of people. And it seemed to give me some kind of advantage in understanding it. So, copy and paste just think of that as being making a duplicate making a copy of something so you have two now instead of one but that second copy that you've done that duplicate that you've done you want to send it somewhere else that's copy and paste for example I have new text document here. This is a file that I've used a little earlier to make another video. I want to make a copy of that and send that copy to another folder in my computer. How do I do that? First of all, I'll right click on it and I'll choose the copy option. And this is often where people get messed up because they say, okay, I click but nothing happens. Well, something does happen. Your computer now knows that you want to have a copy of that file, but it also wants to know where do you want the copy to be. So that's where the paste option is useful. So let's say I want to put this document in my documents folder. I'll simply go to my file explorer, go into documents, and right click and click paste now don't mind this I already had pasted earlier that's why it asked me to replace but see that now here it is new text document it is now in my documents folder but it's a copy it's an exact copy of the original one that's still in the desktop so that's one thing you can do with copy and paste. I made a duplicate of this file, I made a copy of it, and I took that copy and I sent it into documents. Another way to use copy and paste. Somebody tells you, hey, I've got a great, great article on Wikipedia about computers. And there's a part of that document that's fascinating and I want you to read say it's that little paragraph here about transistors what you'll do you'll go into the diagonal so upper left of the text or lower right of the text click hold and just go over it while you're holding and you see that the text becomes highlighted just go onto that text with the pointer and right click here you got a copy option what can I do with that? Say I want to send it in an email. Well, I'll just go into my mail client, whatever. It could be Gmail. You could be online with Gmail. You do a new message. And you know what? Just answer to who you want to send it, the subject. And when you're in the body of the message, you just right click and click the paste. And here, that paragraph is now in the the body of a message would work the same if you're using Gmail say you want to take that and send it in a Word document same thing say that I want all of this here selected I just right click I'll copy I'll just you know open Word 2016 and uh, do a blank document and say okay I want that here I'll right click once again and paste the content that's it 
So copy and paste, making a duplicate of something and just putting it somewhere else in another location, uh, in another program if it's text. Uh, it's very simple. You know, sometimes people say, okay, um, I've got an article, I'd like to send that to a friend. Well, just click the URL or the web address at the top in the taskbar, and the, the address bar, sorry, and click, you highlight it, right click, you just copy it, and just do a message. For example, if you want to send it through Gmail, I'll go in my Gmail, and in my Gmail, I'll do a new message, and and just you know to who I want to send it the reason why I'm sending it and say here is the link to the computer article and right click and paste it so this is copy and paste making a duplicate of something sending it somewhere else that's it and remember when you click that copy option computer is waiting for you to know where you want to paste it so when it's a computer file a picture or anything you got to decide where in the computer you want to put it in which folder you want to add a copy of this that's how it works if you enjoy my videos why not subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online we typically post tons of videos every day and every week if you have comments questions problems suggestions Please feel free to ask. It's always fun to have your feedback. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us in the ratings on YouTube. And hopefully now you know how to copy and paste in Windows.